Hey guys, we are here at Waysafe. Here in Linden, Utah, we are going to go inside and talk to them. Uh, we have about 12,500 miles on our hitch. So while we're here, they said they want to look at it. Um, because we do so many miles in a year, you guys know we work with so many companies doing product testing. So they were interested to look at the hitch and learn what they could learn. You're rolling. All right, guys. As you know, we always come to the companies of the products we use. We know you guys have been having a lot of questions and a lot of concerns and a lot of misunderstanding with the distributed weight part of it. And so we're here with Morgan and from Waysafe. Uh, Braxton's behind the camera. He might jump in. <laughs> but we're going to have that question answered from the engineer himself. And we're going to talk about the tongue weight and the distributed weight and why there's so our tongue weight is 750 we share that with you guys all the time we always tell you guys you need to know your tongue weight because it's very important especially if you're using a weight di distribution hitch now the question everybody has is why is my distributed weight sitting at 1750 when i'm only supposed to have 750 pounds of tongue weight awesome great question so the wheelbarrow effect is these spring arms are being lifted up pushing yeah. Sorry, let me We're gonna go this way. Yeah. That way I'm not yep. going back and forth. So these spring arms are being lifted up by the trailer frame to push the front of the vehicle back down because you lose a lot of weight off your front axle when you put tongue weight on. So we're trying to push that lost weight back on. But as you can see, these are being pulled up, which also means they're pulling down on the tongue of the trailer. And some of that weight, the pull down force gets added to your axles on your trailer but the other portion gets added to your original tongue weight, and we call that a resultant force. It's a re the, the distributed tongue weight is a resultant force of these being pulled up, pulling down, getting out of the tongue weight. And our app calculates exactly what that resultant force needs to be to be truly distributed. So there's no guessing here. You want to do this bolt? loosen or tighten the lead screw here until this gauge reads the calculated weight and you're ready to go. There you go. Here you go. Here, here's his app right here. So his estimate grows trailer weight, his tongue weight, then he just hits this calculate button. You can see that his target weight is 1750 and then there's a safe zone of 1650 up to 1850 just to allow you for some wiggle room there. So we use that so we use the safe zone for feel. I've been towing trailers for Ever. 30 years now. And, and when you've been towing for a long time, you can feel what the trailer is doing. And so that safe zone is a 200 pound safe zone. The GPS delivered more stuff. <laughs> Hope it's for you guys. But so that 200 pound safe zone, I like to sit in the middle and maybe just 25 to 50 pounds light on the lighter side. That's where I like the feel of it. We have zero sway with this hitch when I set it up that way. And like we were just talking about, we just came through tornado weather where it's blowing 65 miles an hour. The Sequoia and the trailer are connected. There's no sway, there's no bend. It's a whole unit gets pushed together. And then we just came through Cheyenne in that snowstorm that had ice on the road. And as we were slip sliding, we were drifting as a single unit. So the sway on this hitch, the sway control on this hitch is incredible. And we're only at 65 foot pounds. I know it goes higher than that. Yeah. And if you'd like, I can explain how that works more. Yeah, let's, do like. let's so, do it. So as you can see, these spring arms are sitting on pivot points. And with how much this is being lifted up to return that weight, it's creating an immense amount of force between the socket and the lower uh, portion of this uh, pivot system. And this friction is trying to keep it straight. And so in order for this thing to make any angle adjustment, it has to come overcome the friction made between the socket and this plate. There's also friction built up here. As it's turning, this bar slides forward and backwards, so there's added friction here. So you have four areas. You have two on the back, two brackets, and two on each socket that's just trying to hold you, hold you straight down the road. There you go. And we're only at 65. What's the top? Because I know we have the 8,500 8, bars. You guys make 12,500 bars for people with bigger trailers. Yep. 
What is the torque on those bolts? How high can you go? Actually? So you can go up to 150 foot pounds. But what we found is if you're at that, normally you cannot move it by hand to get it out of this out of out of place. So yeah. it's a kind of a, just a field game of what feels best and what you can handle. Nice. Nice. And then um, to change your distributing weight, you guys know we boondock a lot. We've shown you this guys many times. When we're boondocking, the water moves back and forth, so the weight changes. We always check our tongue weight. And then the way that we do it is we'll loosen this bolt here. And then if we go clockwise right here, we get more distributed weight. If we go anti-clockwise, we get less distributed weight. And it's very important to keep this grease. There is one grease fitting right here. So that's that's important to keep that grease. You, go, you guys know we do that. We show you guys all the maintenance stuff to do with this hitch. Um, other than that, we don't really do any maintenance to this hitch at all. Um, is there maintenance to do to this hitch? Like, is there things that we should be looking for in doing in this? Yeah, just making sure your all of your bolts and nuts are you know remain tight because any vibration could potentially loosen stuff, but it's very minimal. And then there actually is a second greaser on the back side here. I think you've yeah yeah right there that yep. feeds the other portion of the lead screw. Mm -hmm. So the two greasers and then just greasing the top of the sockets. Um, just helps the, the the friction here just gives a more longevity to the hitch itself so nice. Pretty and, close. and wearing we're at 12,500 yeah that's amazing how 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 is there a lifetime to these hitches like are we gonna hit it when we hit 50 60,000 miles so we have people with over 100,000 miles on them uh, as far as wear that if you ever need to replace something I don't know what it is yet <laughs> So the, the only two wear items are is this socket between these two platforms and then back here. As far as we've heard, we've never had to replace the trailer brackets or the sockets on the middleweight. So uh, we got a lot of miles on it. We're right. still going good. But again, those are the wear items and you can easily either purchase a replacement or call in as a lifetime warranty and we'll replace them for you. We're always trying to find the quality products that you guys are looking for. We know you guys are willing to spend the money if it's quality. And this is one of those products. This is one of those companies. They stand behind their stuff. They've been good to us. And uh, we pass everything on to you guys. So if you want to add in there, I mean, every one of our hitches is quality checked here to make sure that there's no issues um, from as far as from powder coating to hydraulic assembly to just any fit and form of the product itself is hand touched here to make sure it's good when it arrives at the customer with the customer with you guys and you and you you even test the gauge like you'll put oh, weight yeah. on the ball yep yep we'll put weight on the scale we actually have a load sale that measures the accuracy so every you know everyone's checked to make sure it's going to work for you nice well guys we're going to wrap it up here there's beautiful snow-capped mountains in the background you know we're outside people so we got stuff to do um we're going to be in the utah area for a little while um you might see something new but uh they have they have the regular truck hitches for your trailers and for your boats they have the weight distribution for lightweight trailers out of the middleweight they just came out with a brand new heavyweight and it looks really really good and it is really beefy and then we went inside and we saw they have a gooseball plate i will i'll show you guys that in a second but they have a gooseball plate and now they have the goose ball for the puck systems. So if you're towing gooseneck and you need to know your tongue weight, man, there's there's only one there's only one company that's doing it. There's a lot of other uh, people that want to imitate it through cheating through the DLC. It doesn't work. So um, I'm gonna show you some of their hitches inside. They do custom, and they have some pretty cool looking stuff. So you can customize it. So we know a bunch of you guys like to do that. But, I really appreciate your time, Morgan and Braxton, very much. And uh, I'm just gonna video these. Well, at least these. we caught this one, so you don't have All right, well, thanks for giving us a call. I will take care of that warranty, and you have a good day and a great weekend, okay? <laughs> All right, bye. This is the new True Toe, or the heavyweight, middleweight, and then here's all the different sizes, all the different shanks.
mean, those, we can set those are new ones. Let's set these up here. So here is their gooseneck plate. This is for people that have the rails. So all you guys out on the farm that already have the plates, that's this one. And then if you have the puck system, it's one of these. The gauge is built right in. We are in the heavy use category. And so um, they were able to look at it and go through it and um, everything looked good. They replaced the gauge and gave us new gaskets and everything just in case because that's what they do when they're doing maintenance. All right, where am I filming from? All right, guys, so we just got here to our Boon Doctors Welcome. We are going to be setting up. And to do that, we've got a super secret prototype. Way safe. You guys know we've been looking for something like this for a while. Most of the players in the industry don't have what we need. So, or they don't actually function well. So, uh, their engineer gave us one of these. Seven yellow blocks. You guys know us, we're on to the next adventure.